It's science. So my staff is really cute. They all use potato peelers, but my grandmother taught me to peel with a knife. It gets the hole underneath the skin off and all the little black marks off. That layer right underneath the potato skin, especially if it's a little bit green, is bitter. When you peel potatoes, immediately they go into water because immediately they start oxidating and getting brown. You have to cut these dudes the same size. If you don't cut them the same size, you've got some that are going to overcook while the bigger ones need to get cooked and you can't make mashed potatoes with an uncooked center. That's where you're gonna get your lumps and whatnot. So right there is a really nice size. Okay, here goes the important part. These dudes have to go into cold water. You start roots in cold water, cold pans, cold ovens, and you bring them up to temperature to cook them evenly and to not overcook them. Now, you're gonna salt your potatoes. There's a couple of different theories. Some people want it salted like you would salt broth, and some people want it salted like you would salt the ocean. I want it salted like you salt the ocean. Turn that around. Start in cold water with the lid on, and you're gonna bring it to a boil. All right, our potatoes are boiling. So, here goes some of the formula. So once the potatoes are boiling, we're going to take the lid off and we're gonna turn the fire down on it. Because at this point, we want them to start cooking a little slower. You don't wanna stop them, but you don't want them like full roll boiling either. You've probably noticed this before, but sometimes when you cook your potatoes, the ends get kind of frayy. Those are overcooked. So now you've got different layers of cooked potato. That overcooked potato is what kind of gives that glue texture. So I just checked our potatoes and how I checked them was I had my little paring knife that was already dirty. And I picked them up and I poked it. And they're just perfect. And then I want you to look, see how they're just done, they're not frayed. So we're gonna use our strainer. And now we're fixing to do an extremely important thing that is part of the science of getting a good mashed potato. And home cooks don't do this. And so this is a trick. So once you get your potatoes strained, we're gonna go back in here. And it is very, very, very important that we cook off the extra moisture. So you go back to your burner. And you're gonna see the moisture coming off your potato. And you wanna start moving them around and they'll even start breaking up at this point. So that's okay, because we're gonna mash them, we're gonna put them through the ricer. But the most important thing of what we're doing right now is we're getting all the, the rest of the water out of them because that water is what will also give you that gluey texture. And we, we're going for fluffy. See that steam coming off? And see how they're starting to look dry? We're gonna put our cream to heat up because the formula is we're gonna rice it and then we're gonna put hot cream and cold butter. You don't ever wanna mix your cream and your butter and put them in the potatoes and whip it. Again, it's gonna mess with the texture. Here's where you can infuse flavor into your potato. Do you want garlic mashed potatoes? Put it in the milk. Do you want some parsley and some herbs or what do you like in your potatoes? You can put it in the milk and infuse it in the milk. Okay, now this is an important step to our mashed potatoes. The ricer. If you don't have a ricer for mashed potatoes, you're gonna to need to come get one. And you just push that potato through. And what this does is it just creates that surface area you're really looking for on your potatoes so that we can really, really fluff them. And then what we have are these awesome rice potatoes. They're not mashed yet. Once you get your milk hot, so you're gonna pour your milk in and then you're just gonna stir. Now, because we, because we riced it and because we got all the moisture out, look how fluffy they are just right away. Just right away. So no blender. You don't ever wanna put your mashed potatoes in a blender. Sorry, Trisha Earwood. And then cold butter. Okay, guys? So now we're gonna stir that in and let it melt in. The one thing we have to do real quick is taste. They're delicious. They're just beautiful. Fluffy, beautiful potatoes. Just look at that, so good.